Hi everybody, so I'm fairly well known for making lots and lots of videos about Daisy, but some of them are getting on a little bit now. So what I've done is I have gone back and I've looked at my beginner's guide to modding Daisy community servers and I've refreshed them. I've recorded lots of them again. In fact, I've recorded 20 of them. And so if you're new to, in particular, console server modding, and that would be on sort of Nitrado, Daisy community servers for PlayStation and Xbox, then this could well be interesting for you because Daisy is constantly evolving. And I'm pretty sure in a few months' time, there'll be things in these videos that is out of date as well. But if you're new to it or you want a refresh, this goes right back to starting off with buying a server and then I take you all the way through to what happens if something goes wrong and how to reset your files. Um, so in the description of this video, you'll find a link to this playlist, which has got the 20 videos. I've recorded them in hopefully a little bit of logical order. So if you've just rented or bought a server, you can work your way through. Um, now, although I do say it's console, it all of this stuff is applicable to PC as well. It's just that remember I'm using Nitrado servers, um, which is the uh, server provider for DayZ, the only one for, for console. And some of the menu options that we have on console just don't exist for PC. It's done in a different way. Um, and you can work your way through. So what what is in this list of videos? So it starts off with, you know, why should you buy a community server? You know, what can and can't you do on console how to, much to expect it to work and then we move on where to buy obviously from nitrado um, but like which location where your server should be on which should you choose and how many slots how many players you should you have and then we start with the real basics how to name or rename your server change the install map add a whitelist or a password um, how to edit um, create automated tasks and server restarts with messages.xml so your server stays stable um, and then we've got, that's not quite in order, that one. How to spawn in secret black and camo uh, green weapons, um, which is an interesting one. And then we have how to edit and change the time and date, so you can have longer days and shorter nights. Then we look at the third person, the crosshair, the lighting, and the mouse and keyboard settings that you can enable or disable for your server. Some basic tools and resources, some guides and pra uh, best practices that you're going to use as you're modding your server. Uh, we look at how to edit the fresh spawn starting loadouts, although it's not really a guide to how to come up with your own. I show you some of my files um, and also a website that you can use to create files. Um, and then when you come, become familiar with the process, then you could go in and edit them. Um, the ever popular how to do uh, boost loot, boosted loot, and we do that through a website. Um, we do it through my files and I show you how to do it manually as well. How to speed up loot edit changes. So when things aren't changing on your server, when you've made some XML or JSON changes, uh, how you edit idle mode countdown, so that works. Um, go through some of the files and talk about what they do. We talk about how to spawn in undamaged loot, so it's pristine, so it lasts longer. Um, talk about how to have infinite stamina on your server, disable base damage, uh, enable build anywhere, and have the player map marker as well. So when someone gets out the tourist map, there's a little red mark that shows them where they are. And without having to own GPS and all that sort of stuff. We look at how to spawn guns with attachments, so scopes, mags, and full ammo. How to change the air temperature or the ambient temperature of your server to make it hotter or colder for players. How to add more helicopter heli crashes. And I look at some of the other events as well, but it's mainly about heli crashes. Um, how to spawn in complete vehicles, so that's vehicles that have all the stuff with in them, you know, the wheels and the boot and the spark plug and radiator. And then I show you also how to use my files so you can get vehicles that have stuff in the uh, in the storage as well, so building stuff or weapons and things like that. Um, and then I briefly look at how to add and build custom buildings and structures using the Daisy Editor. Uh, it's that isn't a tutorial on how to use Daisy Editor. It's really pointing you at Daisy Editor, and then I go through how to install a uh, object spawner JSON file that someone has already created that is quite useful that you can install and kind of see how it works. And then, if you like that sort of thing, there's lots of tutorials that show you actually how to use Daisy Editor, but that would probably be the subject of a whole different series of videos. And I'm not sure it really applies to you know, complete beginners. And then finally, we have how to reset your files. So if something goes wrong, and for some reason your server stops working in terms of maybe loot spawning in, or too much loot, or something to do with the economy, or 
zombies not spawning in or something like that, how to reset your files to vanilla, um, and so at least your server will start working again. So there we go. So hopefully people will find this a useful resource. Um, uh, hopefully I won't have to update it for <laughs> a couple of years, but I guess probably when the new map comes out at the end of the year or the beginning of 2025, there'll be some new features that we can start to use. But there we go. So if you think this is uh, worthwhile, hit the like button. Obviously hit subscribe and I'll see you all again soon.